Vaya, al sol de barro la que le toca hacer el tapete de calma con esta mamá. My love for the Almighty God, I think it really has carried me through my rough times. Even this case, I just lost my son, my son was killed. And a lot of people, honestly, sometimes you don't feel like you don't take up arms yeah. and try to get revenge on your own self. But at the end of the day, I have to resort back to the same songs I sing. Yeah. Songs that Lord give me strength and never give up my pride. Yeah. Because you can't give up what you've been working for all these years just because this happened now. Yeah. You have to go out there and go on a shooting spree or whatever and go do things and eye for an eye on them before you know you lose focus. Yeah. No. I try to believe, to me, the Bible says live our vengeance to the Almighty God, so I believe in prayer. About the music and the moral decay of Jamaica, right? You as yes, an sir. artist. I love, your, I love that term you use, moral <laughs> decay. <laughs> you Thank as you an sir. artist though, do you kind of feel a way like, how is this allowed to even be played in public with some of the music? I couldn't believe it. I cannot believe it. And you have some people go on radio and blatantly and they play this kind of stuff. And you walk, they do what they do now, some of these dancehall artists, yeah. they do they do a, 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 a provocative song. Yeah. And they will do a clean version and do a dirty version. Yeah. Clean version now, bleep them, them play it on the radio. Yeah. But you can still- Same concept, but they just bleep out the nasty words. It's a disgrace, man. Yeah. I can't believe after great Bob Marley, I know Bob Marley must be crying right now in his grave. You know, I'm disappointed, not just in the people singing and making this music, but it's the people, the fans, the Jamaican people who allow themselves to be drawn down to the dust of the earth, to the scum, this moral decay that you see going on down there. These people just sit by and allow where people to do all kinds of manner of evil. Women going into dance hall naked and stripping themselves naked, exposing themselves. These are the things the slave master used to compel them to do. And they're being it to them if you're white naked. Now they're doing it at their own will. Volunteering to go in a dance hall naked and go expose themselves like they don't have no pride. Where is your pride? Especially these women. Some of these women are nice, beautiful women who have children. Them leave them children in a yard and gang and wind up in a dance naked. And some of these youths taking them and drawing them on the ground, throwing them on the ground and jumping from backs and jumping into them. Jumping on their structure. Throwing them on a building and lighting them on fire. And they you know, say, what, let's, what next they're going to do in this dance hall thing? It is getting out of hand. Something needs to be done, my brother, my brother. If you have a country, if you have a home, and the children can do as they like, that home will go burn down in a matter of time. Yeah. Now, to me, Jamaica is like a big home for us. Yeah. And everybody's doing as they like. The place is going to burn down. Yeah. If it's not, you go intervene and save it. Because it's going to be like a earthquake. It's going to be like a natural devastation, a natural epidemic. We're going to see a wee. We're going to be people looking at themselves because you know how many neighbors ever talk until Gilbert come yeah. and blow down some fence. Some man will come and shake hand and say, Boy, brother, can't live so bad in a fire. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marcus Garvey said, We're not going to know ourselves until the back is against the wall. Yeah. But why wait so long, my people? Yeah. My brother, I don't think they're much of the business. So when you have a breakdown, we have double standardness in the thing. And this is what the cause of it. We did warn them long time, say, yeah. if they don't nip it, the devil will get upon them. I did warn them. If they watch something, you could interview with me. I'm, I'm Win Winford Williams, assassin. Vibes can't tell him. See, I want to. Yeah. And Mr. Freddie McGregor was on a. Was on a. Like a panel type vibe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Panel. Sure. I'm here talking to him. And even Freddie. Freddie was in a short pants. Yeah. And his foot shine. <laughs> I don't know if he used Vaseline at the end. <laughs> but, yeah. see, my man said. My man said, King. We have, them youth, we have to talk to them and Freddie said, well, you know, you them are experiments till you can't stop them from experimenting. Some of these elders took condone the slackness yeah. because most of these big songs where you see and the big clash between Vibes Cartel and Mavado, I run a Mr. Freddie McGregor yard, enough of them build. Yeah. And Stephen build them, genius. Yeah. So people don't like, might not like me when I talk because I'll cut it straight. If you don't like me, sorry. But I you don't know, like where I go on. And with too many concerns about my nation and about my people, me have to talk it and talk the things then. Who don't like it? Pray for me. <laughs> and, the, and the last thing, man. And I, the government. 
go ahead, go government ahead. Government too loose, man. Government did they try to rape the land and sell out the people yeah. and sell out everything underneath before. And before them try to harness this thing, because look how much look how much revenue come to Jamaica through this music thing. Yeah. Even the tourists get a tourism get a boom through the reggae music, through all these festivals, sound splash and sound fest. And then play on play on and go on and go on until before you know the men are gonna spend millions, some millions of dollars to build some like one ball. If you attract some tourists and try to see them. And they don't realize that the real thing we attract the people, they don't allow it to just vandalize and people do all manner of evil. Yeah. They the, the government should get a beat. When they come and talk about lock off dance at 2 o'clock, they late! <laughs> <laughs> they should have stipulated a law one time, say any kind of dirty, diabolic music coming out. We have to find them. Yeah. Some of these dirty more DJs we get a fine. Hey, you know, I charge them 500,000, charge them a million, then, man, because they don't want to pay no money. Yeah. And after them, since I sell them soul for make the money, you make use that to pinch them, man. Yeah. Dig out them pockets, say, yo, if a man come sing some song, say, boy, if he dead, and lick out my outer head, I'll one million dollars if you find him. And give him community work, too. Yeah. Pant up of that. It's a conspiracy, man. man. Yeah. That's it, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Because all of them working with the same intention to just divide and rule us. Yeah. And fool us. Yeah. So when we come to educate the people now, them say, well, they don't give me the right to put it. Some of these major companies also. Yeah. The whole of them. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I give thanks for what VP has done for me. But when we see our VP push up certain some things, certain certain things and hold back certain things. Yeah. When Universal can sign VP, it's them want that someone, some cultural artists from VP. You know who VP them send over there like elephant man and some commander. And, <laughs> and them have all me there in there play with me. Yeah. All of them are joke again. I tell you, so all of them are gonna go suffer. Thank you so much for watching. I never knew TV. Please subscribe, comment, like.